Rampant drops, edge surfers and dismounting riders are all quirks of our quizzical machine. Will anyone master her today? We're about to find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players who are hoping to win thousands today. I'm Jason, a Transport Services Manager from Essex. I'm Maddie, a baker from Accrington. I'm Ewan, an actor from Aberdeen. And I'm Susan, a dance teacher from the Vale of Glamorgan. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Points. So in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine would add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop and should run full with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. However, do remember, the player with the lowest score at the end of this round will have to leave the game to keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. All right, everybody ready? Here comes your first question. In 2019, which ex-Manchester United footballer, nicknamed Golden Balls, brought a 10? Jason. David Beckham. Correct, it is David Beckham, yes. Bought a 10% stake in Salford City FC. Right, Jason, first correct answer for you. So the first choice is yours. Thank you. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to play, please, Ben. All right, where are you going to go? Drop zone four, please. All right, fire up four first, please. <laughs> Busy drop, that one. Stays on its edge, though. Could come down and settle nicely. It does. Is that where you wanted it, Jason? Absolutely. It's nice, nice and double. flat. Nice and flat. Maybe get at that double if anything comes over the top shelf. It does. And it's the bottom ready. No, not quite. Nudge that double delightfully, but it's not far enough, I'm afraid. It's going to stay in the machine. So nothing from your first drop. Thank you. You've still got two counters left now, though. Next question. According to the common phrase, a rare occurrence happens once in a blue what? Ewan. Moon. Yes, once in a blue moon. Uh, would you like to play the Ewan? Uh, yes, please. I'd like to go for uh, drop zone four. Four up, please. <laughs> Slides and settled nicely. Anything going over the top shelf? Not sure. <sighs> There's a nice stack there, Ewan. Yeah. They're going to stay there, I think. So, sadly. Nothing from your first drop either. You've still got two counters left now, though. Next question. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too is a quote from which 1939 Maddie? Wizard of Oz. Judy Garland film. Yes, good knowledge, Maddie. Well done. Uh, it is the Wizard of Oz. So would you like to play? Yes, please. Where do you want to go? Uh, I've got drops on four, please. Four up for Maddie, please. So what can you get? Jason got to the bottom shelf. Ewan didn't get off the top shelf. Let's see, Maddie. Slide settled nicely. Oh, is anything going over the edge? It's gonna go. Yes, there you go. Oh, could you get the double with your first drop, Maddie? That'd be a nice start. Really nice start. Well done. Seven for you, Maddie, which is 350 pounds, which is a nice drop nonetheless. But then whack in the double as well, and we can give you another 350 pounds, and suddenly. It's worth £700. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, Maddie. It's going to put you in a very strong lead now with £700, and you've still got two counters left as well. Very nice start. OK, next question. A Z-donk is a cross between a donkey and which black and white? Jason. A zebra. Black and white striped animal, it is. Yes, a donkey and a zebra. Jason, are you going to play or are you going to pass? I'll play again, please. Where are you going? Uh, drop zone four again, please. More work to be done. Five, four up, please. Ooh, that could be nice. Yeah, right. You get Ewan's counters down. Yeah. <laughs> they could go. They're still hanging on the edge. You had a little touch then. That black counter's so close to going down. Got to go. Yeah, it does. And a couple more. Straight over. Can you get at the bottom shelf? Yes, you can. That's a good drop there, Jason. Well done. Six counters to so £300. 
more like it. Let's take it and put it to your bank. So it gets you off the mark with £300, and you've still got one counter left as well. Jason, next question. Grand, baby grand, and upright are types of which? Susan. Piano. Which musical keyboard instrument? They are types of piano, yes. Uh, so, Susan, would you like to play? Yes, please. Where do you want to go? I'll try Drop Zone 1, please. Let's change it up. Let's come down the other side of the machine for Drop Zone 1 this time, please. Settled nicely. Yeah, but yeah, there we go. Across the top shelf's good. And what about the bottom there? Oh, no, Susan, sadly. Never mind. Couldn't quite get anything out of the machine with this first drop of yours. Still got two left, though. Thank you. Next question. Opened in 1994. What is the name of the high speed rail service that directly links London and Paris via the Channel Tunnel? Ewan. Eurostar? It is Eurostar, yes. Now, Ewan, you ready to play again? Uh, yeah, I think I'll go for drops on one, Ben. All right, let's have one, please. Susan set you up this time. Yes. I'll we'll see so. what happens. <laughs> oh, didn't want to settle. Is that silver oh. counter in the wrong place, though? Oh, it's yeah. flat. It's got to be flat. No, oh, it's riding. Might get a little bit of traction. Oh. Silver one's next to it. Going to be enough? Could do, could do. Oh, nearly. Bad luck. Oh. No joy again, Ewan. So you put a second counter in, still nothing comes out. You've got just the one counter left now. Need to use it wisely. Yeah. Next question. Best known for their hair straighteners, the company Good Hair Day. Maddie. GHDs. Is more commonly referred to by which three-letter abbreviation? <laughs> I was always going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> it is GHD. Well done. So, Maddie, do you want to play again or do you want to pass? I'll play, please. OK, where are you going to go? I've got drops on one. Drops on one it is. So, delightful drop last time you had a crack, Maddie. What can we get this time? That was fun. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just takes out Ewan's counters that he'd left. Anything here? And it's another four, Maddie, again. Yeah. Another nice drop, £200. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to put you on £900 now, and you've still got one counter left as well. Going along very nicely there, Maddie. OK, here comes your next question. In the nursery rhyme, hey diddle diddle, what animal jumped over the moon? Maddie. The cow. The cow did jump over the moon, yes. Well done, Maddie. Uh, are you going to play your last counter? Or do you want to pass it? What are you thinking, Maddie? Um, trying to look at that drop zone three to see if there's enough on the top shelf. Not been used yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'll play it. I'll go drop zone three. Let's do it. Five up drop zone three, please. First counter into three. Tipping point looks strong. Oh, yo, yo, go. Got it flat though. Anything going over the top shell? Oh, mm. finally you draw a blank, Maddie. But you've had two good drops before that, and you've got yourself mm. 900 pounds. You have used all three counters though, so for the time being, Maddie, you are out. Right. So Jason, you got one counter with 300 pounds. You only got one counter with nothing in the bank. Susan, you've got two counters left, and you've got nothing in the bank as well. So this next question is for the three of you. Here we go. The Hollywood actor with the last name Cruz and the Welsh singer with the last name Jones share what first, Susan? Tom. Share what first name? Yes, Tom Jones and Tom Cruise, you're absolutely right. Uh, Susan, do you want to play or do you want to pass? I'll play, please, okay. and I'll try drop zone three, please. Maddie set you up this time, hasn't she? Fire up three, please. Let's see what we can get here, Susan, if it goes down the left. Top shelf looks cracking. And then over the right. Yeah, that looks good. The tipping point looks good as well. Susan, are we going to get you some money? Hopefully. Yeah, we are. Oh, no. great stuff, <laughs> Susan. Drop. Ten counters across the tipping point. £500. Excellent. Really cracking drop, that. That's going to put you into second place. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. So you're behind Maddie now, you've got 500 pounds and you've still got one counter left. Thank you. Heaps the pressure on you and now. Right, next question. The name of which well-known teenage witch completes the title of the 2018 Netflix series? Ewan. Sabrina. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, Ewan, do you want to play your last counter or do you want to pass it to Jason or Susan? 
Uh, I'm going to play. You're going to take it on. Right, where are you going to go? Drop zone three and hope that it goes on that side that's got something hanging over it's it. It's got to go on the left, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Fire up three, please. You need six counters to catch Jason here. Is this the right time to play? Oh, mm. it's not sure it's the right side. Not quite, I don't think. Oh, oh. might work, though. Yeah, Come on. Know. It's looking good. Has the machine got a little something for oh, you? Yeah. Oh, just the four, Ewan. Oh. It's not going to be enough to catch Jason. It's 200 pounds. Have got you some money, though, so you are in the game. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. You've used all three counters now, though, so for the time being, you're out, and you're going to need Jason or Susan to get one of their questions wrong to have something to play for in the penalty spot. Otherwise, we're going to lose you at the end of the round, OK? Yep. Jason and Susan, you've got one counter left each. This next question is for the two of you. The term karaoke means empty orchestra in which East Asian language? Jason. Japanese. Correct. Uh, Jason, your last counter. Do you want to play or would you like to pass? No, I think I'll play again, please. OK, ben. where are you going to go? I'm going to go back to drop zone one, please. Right, let's go back to one. Just stays on its edge. Is that silver counter going to cause you a problem? It's no, it's flat. You're OK. Now, that should bring the double down. Let's hope. Get it into play. Yep, it does. Can we add to your £300, Jason? I'm not sure. The bottom's ready. Oh. No, it's not. You draw a blank. So you stay on £300. You've used all three counts. For the time being, you are out. So, Susan, it's just you left in, cos it's just you. You don't need your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last count into the machine. Here we go, then, Susan. On which continent is the country of San Marino located? Europe. It is in Europe, yes. Very well done, Susan. You gave me the right answer. You and I'm sorry. That means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. No uh, worries. So one last counter for you here, Susan. Where would you like to play it? Let's try drop zone two, please. All right, let's have drop zone two for the first time, please. Yeah, it's settled nicely. Are you going to split them? Anything going over? I'm not sure. Might do, yes. And we might get you a couple here. Hopefully. Oh, three oh. counters drops across the tipping point. That's £150 for you, Susan, for those three counters. Let's set up on the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Maddie is out in the lead with £900. Susan has £650. Jason goes through with £300. You and I'm so sorry. It wasn't your day, I'm afraid. With £200, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. No worries. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Thank you, Ewan. So join us after the break to which of the day's three remaining players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Jason, Maddie and Susan have all survived to play round two. In this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine and as before. The player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Uh, Maddie, you are leading after round one, so it's your choice. You can play first if you think the machine's ready. Alternatively, you could ask Jason or Susan to play. I'll ask Susan to play first. Right. Yeah. Maddie's putting Susan into bat first. 30 seconds for Susan, please. Your time starts now. In the popular nursery rhyme, how many blind mice are there? Three. Correct. In 2017, which Barbados-born singer released the perfume Kiss? Pass. Rihanna. Loughborough Lightning and Surrey Storm are teams that compete in the Super League of which sport? Baseball. Netball. What is the first consonant in the English alphabet? A. B. Oh, sorry. Which UK capital city is located the furthest north? Aberdeen. Edinburgh. The chocolate-covered biscuit made by the Australian firm Arnott's is called a Tim what? Pass. A Tim Tam. Is a Tim Tam. A Tim Tam. Oh, Susan, only one correct I answer. Know. The that pressure got, got to you got there, I think. Yes. The pressure got to you. Just the one counter, but you can do some serious damage with one counter if you get it in the right place. So where do you think looks the most attractive and the most lucrative? Let's try two. Drop zone two? Yeah. Light up drop zone two, please. Bit of a gap you're going to find here. Can you get something over? Go on now. Yes! 
Is there anything going over the bottom shell? Oh, no. no, Susan, hard luck. I'm afraid. Just the one correct Never answer. Never mind. And sadly, nothing comes from the machine. So, Susan, you stay on £650. Right, Maddie, come back to you. You can play this time, or you could ask Jason to go now. Still looking a bit gappy on that top shelf, that's all I'm thinking. Do you want Jason to try and fill it up for you, or do you fancy having a crack <laughs> yeah, yourself? Yeah, we'll ask <laughs> Jason you. to do that, yeah. <laughs> all right, Jason. <laughs> 30 seconds for Jason, please. Your time starts now. In the Gregorian calendar, which month falls between January and March? February. Correct. Duck hook, chilli dip and shank are three slang terms for missed hit shots in which sport? Baseball. Golf. Which US animated series features the characters Dr Zoidberg, Bender and Zap Brannigan? Pass. Futurama. In the song, I know an old lady, which eight-legged creature does she swallow to catch a fly? Spider. Correct. The island country of Mauritius is part of which continent? Pass. Africa. Hourglass and pantropical spotted are two species of which? Out of time on this. Hourglass and pantropical spotted are two species of which specific aquatic mammal? I would never clue. Dolphin. dolphin. It was a dolphin. So, Jason, only two for you. So, we've got two chances here, Jason, to try and catch Susan. That's your first challenge. She's 350 pounds ahead of you, so seven counters will do it. What are you thinking looking at the machine? Um, I've been drop zone one for most of the game, so I think I'm going to... Go back to the old faithful and go drop zone one. Stay loyal, Jason. Absolutely. Let's see if it works. Bar up one, please. Ooh, now it's nice and flat. Nice stack there. Can we get them over? Oh, no. Come on, machine. <laughs> Teasing us. They're not going to go, I'm afraid, Jason. So we've got one more to put in. I'll stay on drop zone one, please, Ben. One again, please. There, surely now. Nicely done. Good You're spread. Welcome. Come on, then, machine. Be generous. Oh, Jason, it's not going to be enough to catch Susan, I'm afraid. Only three counters drop out. Not much at all. £150. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And I'm afraid that's going to leave you on £450. So at the end of this round, we're going to be losing you, Jason. Thank you, Ben. Right then, Maddie, I think it's fair to say that's worked very nicely for you. <laughs> I hope so. I've got to get it right myself now. Yeah, there's nowhere to hide now, though. Uh, 30 seconds for Maddie, please. Your time starts now. Which winged insect is used as the mascot for the Kellogg cereal Honey Loops? B. Correct. The River Tagus flows between Spain and which other European country? Portugal. Correct. In the title of a novel by Agatha Christie, the 450 train leaves from which London station? Houston. Paddington. Je ne sais quoi, literally meaning I do not know what, is a phrase from which European language? French. Correct. Brian Johnson and Bon Scott have both been lead singer for which... ACDC. Correct. Bolivia's national football team traditionally wear home shirts that are which secondary colour? Green. Correct. Well done, Maddie. Wow. <laughs> really <laughs> good <Jen>. knowledge. <laughs> Who would have thought you were a massive fan of the Bolivian national team? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you squeezed that one in just in time. Five correct answers, though, Maddie. Oh, Some really good answers in there as well. Really, really well done. Uh, you jumped in on one. Clearly, you know. Brian Johnson and Bon Scott have both been lead singer for which Australian rock band? I would have had words to myself if I got that wrong. Big fan of ACDC? Just a big rock music fan, yeah. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> You've given yourself five counters to put into the machine. So, you can have some fun here, Maddie. Where would you like to start? We'll start with Drop Zone 1. All right. Please. Drop Zone 1, please. Might squeeze the ones in the corner over here. Okay. Bit of that on it. Moving one. Through the middle. Did you even get that double? No, the double's getting closer. Three counters drop in, Maddie. It's a nice start. £150 for those three. Give up the money. Nicely done. Four to go, Maddie. Where next? I'll try drop some one again and hope it goes to the right. Okay, <laughs> fire up one, please. Spinning, settle, right, settle, right. settle, settle. Yeah, I think you'll be all right now. Can we get that black counter through the middle? Yes, we can. Is that coming towards the double? The double's going to go now. It does go now. You're right, Susan. Three counters drop across the tipping point. That's 150 pounds. Right, you've got your hands on that second double, Maddie, so we can double it up and give you another 150 pounds. You're charming our machine is today. <laughs> Takes you to 450. Still got three more to go as well. What do you fancy doing now, Maddie? 
Oh, I might try and fill the gap in the drop zone too because there's a nice little bunch down the front there, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, you got enough to play with, so drop yeah. zone two? We've got drop zone two, yeah. Light it up, please. See. I don't think that's Less bad at all. Over that side. Good shove on that little stack. Is this the bunch you're after? It's not bad. Oh. Two counts to drop in. Leave a few on the tipping point, ready to be picked off. Let's give you another hundred pounds for those two. Uh, you've got two more to go. Staying with drop zone two, Maddie? Yeah, I think I'll stick with drop zone two for this one. Light up drop zone two, please. goes completely the wrong <laughs> way. <laughs> that might fit a hole. He might get some traction. A little nudge here and there. Just shuffle that top shelf. So nothing from that drop. Still got one more to go, Maddie. Um, I'll go drop zone one this time. Back to drop zone yeah. one. Fire it up, please. Will this change work? Get it on the right-hand side, it works. Yeah, there. Now, a bit of lateral, that could be really nice. Oh, just got that one silver one down. Oh, Ooh, nice finish. Nice. Well done, Maddie. <laughs> that's another seven across the tipping point. Very nice finish. £350 goes in. Takes your total to £900. It's going to double what you've got. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Maddie's lead is now £1,800. Susan goes through with £650. Jason, I'm so sorry, but with £450, we have found your tipping point. Thanks for playing, Jason. Lovely. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for having me. Great to meet you. So it's Maddie and Susan who'll be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for a £10,000 jackpot. But now for your chance for an amazing cash prize, just like I have your Jackie. She won big by entering our competition. You could too. Is it for real? It is for real. Congratulations. Are you joking? I can't believe it! For £40,000, text WIN to 65433. Text costs £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Go to the website, entries cost £2. Or post your name and phone number to TP214, PO Box 7558, Derby D10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Maddie and Susan. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one is going to be playing our machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately on your question. You can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you'll put the count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. And whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. So, Maddie, as you're leading, you get to choose. Would you like the first question or would you like to offer it to Susan? I will... Offer it to Susan. Okay, first question for you then, Susan. Here we yep. go. The phrase, I declare after all there is no enjoyment like reading, appears on which banknote issued by the Bank of England? Now you can play this or you can pass to Maddie. I'm not really sure, and I couldn't even hazard a guess, so I'll pass it back to Maddie. Right then, Maddie, any ideas? I'm thinking there's an author of some sort on the note. The first one that came into my head when you said the question was five pound. Right. Five pound note. I'm gonna have to go over that. I'm gonna have to go over that. Go with the fiver. My instant okay. chair. Susan, did you have one that you were leaning towards? I would probably have said the ten pound note. You might have said a ten pound. Let's see if you're right, Maddie. Is the answer the five pound note? No, it's not. It was the ten pound uh... note, actually. The ten pound note. Uh, so Susan, you get the first counter because Maddie was wrong. Where do you want to put it? I think I will try the rock zone two, please. Fire up two. Let's see what we can get here, Susan. A lot on the top shelf, and the bottom shelf's got a nice cluster on it. Get on that. Could work. Could. Get a bit of lateral. Need it to be the other side more though. Nice Maybe not. movement across the top <laughs> shelf. Can it work? Yeah, there you go. That's not bad. Four counters, Susan, so £200. Nice start. Let's take that and put it into your bank. Puts you on £850. Uh, right, we'll come to you, Maddie. Time for your first question. In January 2019, which EastEnders actor joined the cast of stage musical Everybody's Talking About Jamie in the role of Hugo? 
can play or you can pass this to Susan? I'm going to have a guess. I think he seems like the type of actor that would be in a musical. I hope I've got his name right. Is it Shane Ritchie? Going with Shane Ritchie, Susan. What would you have said? Did you have any ideas? Not really. I'm not an EastEnders fan. Right. But I would have perhaps gone for Danny Dyer. Let's see if you're right, Maddie. Have you got the right EastEnders actor? Oh. Is the answer Shane Ritchie? Yes, it is. Well done, Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> Plucked from the back of our brains. It's somewhere. a great answer. You got it absolutely <laughs> bang on. So, where do you want to put the counter? I will call drops on two, please. Two up, please. Yes, that's the side, isn't it's it? It's out the row and it's it's go. <laughs> Should take out the top shelf in some capacity. Yeah, it does. Hopefully it doesn't just fill that gap. There though. is a gap there suddenly, isn't there? Funny oh, how you suddenly see them once they start moving. Well just keep an eye on that top shelf again. It might just stay there, unfortunately. Oh, they did fall oh. in the end, but sadly too late for you, Maddie, and too late on the shelf. So nothing drops, so you stay on £1,800. Right, Susan, your second question. In Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the name of which dwarf comes first alphabetically? So you can play this, Susan, or you can pass the Maddie. Dozy, Sneezy, don't think there's one beginning with A. Don't think there's one beginning with B. And I don't think there's one beginning with C. So I'll play and hope it's Dozy. You going with Dozy? Dozy. Beginning with the D. Maddie, could you think of any? I was going to go Grumpy, but I think that's a bit too far down, down the alphabet. alphabet. Yeah. yeah. So you only had yeah, Grumpy, so you could have passed it, Susan. Have I you just could. had another one come to you? I have. Basher. Basher oh. or B. So, Susan, have you gone too soon? Probably. You've given me the answer, Dozy, I'm afraid. You didn't think there was a B. Is the answer Dozy? No, it's not bashful, it's bashful. 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 So it was B, I'm afraid, Susan. Not to worry, <laughs> Maddie, you get the counter on the steel, though, because Susan was wrong. Where do you want to put it? I'll go chops on three. All right, yeah. three up, please. That was a wicked drop, straight down. Anything going to go over the top shelf here? I'm not sure. No, it just mm. fills the shelf. So, fortunately, mm. Susan, no damage done there. Maddie, you keep control. Time for your second question. Which town in Berkshire shares its name with a wide triangular knot used to fasten a necktie? I'm going to kick myself, and I don't think I know it, so I'm going to have to pass. Oh, Susan, we can steal this now. Do you know this one? Windsor. Windsor. Does that ring any bells, Maddie? No. As a town, I'm sure it does, but as yeah, a necktie, it does, not. Yeah. Let's find out. Susan's a great steal, if you're right. Is the answer Windsor? Yes, it is. A Windsor knot. Yeah, named after the Duke of Windsor, apparently. How oh, he used to like to tie his ties. Uh, Susan, you get the counter. Where do you want to put it? Let's try three and hope it goes to the left. All right, let's do it. Bar up three, please. Could be good. Could be good. Come on, something over that top shelf is what we need. There yes. we go. Is this going to do it? Should shift a few. And it does. Nice drop, Susan. Well Thank done. Thank you. Eight across the tipping point. That's much more like it. £400. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And that closes the gap significantly. You now have £1,250. Maddie's still leading with £1,800. But, Susan, you keep control. It's time for your third and final question. Invented by a Bletchley Park code breaker in 1956, the machine that randomly selects premium bond winners is known by what acronym? Ernie. Ernie, you sound like you know this one. I hope so. Uh, Maddie, did you have any ideas? Yeah, I think I would have said You'd have gone yeah. Ernie as well. Let's see if you're right then, Susan. Is the machine that selects premium bond winners known as Ernie? It is indeed. Another good answer. Well done, Susan. So, what are you thinking this time? Let's try two again. All right. Drop zone two, please. 
Mystery's got very close. If you can get this down the right-hand side, maybe take that black counter in the middle out. When you're ready, Susan. Oh, that's not bad, is it? As long as it's flat. Yes, it yes. is. That could push that black one in the middle, and it might take that couple out between two and three. There you go. Fingers crossed. Another big drop here, maybe. Oh, another very big drop, oh, Susie. Excellent. Goodness me. Susie, you need 11 counters to catch Maddie. That's 12 across the tipping point. You've gone ahead mm -hmm. of us suddenly 600 pounds. When we take it from the machine and put it into your bank, with just one question left, you are now leading by 50 pounds. Uh, you've also got your hands on a mystery prize as well, Susan. It's an indoor skydiving experience for two people, courtesy of iFly World. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more importantly, though, on that drop, you have now snuck into the lead by just 50 pounds. The pressure's on. <laughs> yes, the pressure is indeed on. Maddie, though, you get control. It's time for your third and final question. Which triangular-shaped bone at the base of the human spine has a name derived from the Latin for holy bone? Can pass it if you're not sure. Any ideas? Nothing's coming to me at all. Um, the Latin for holy bone. No. You're going to pass it over? I'm going to have to pass you. Or oh, Susan, any ideas? I hope I'm right. Yep. I think it's the Cossacks. You're going with the Cossacks? Ring any bells, Maddie? Nope. No, <laughs> not it at doesn't. All. Let's see. Susan, if you are right, then you are today's winner, having just snuck into the lead. If you're wrong, Maddie's got one last drop. Let's see. Is the answer the coccyx? No, it's not. I think you mean coccyx. Coccyx. The bone is called the sacrum. It's the sacrum that's at the bottom of the spine, of course. The Maddie. You've got one last oh, chance here. So what you need is one counter to catch Susan. If you can get two out, then you go through to play for our jackpot. Don't get anything, you're going home and Susan's our winner. What are you thinking then, looking at the machine? Where are you going to get some money? I've been looking at drop zone one all the way through this round and I said to myself, if I got to this point, I would go drop zone one. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone one, please. You've been leading all the way through, Susan's just snuck into the lead. Let's get it down. It's flat. We need something over the top shelf. Come on now, machine, what you got for us? Yeah, there's one. Got ride, got ride. Is anything <laughs> gonna go? You need two to go through. Oh, would you believe it, Maddie? It's hanging from the edge, Maddie. I'm so sorry. Oh, bad luck, Maddie. You've led all the way. Suddenly, Susan battled back. You did get the last counter. But sadly, it's gonna hang agonizingly oh, close and it's gonna stay struggles. in the machine. <laughs> which means, Susan, congratulations <laughs> to you, you with £1,850. That was an incredible comeback. You are today's champion. Thank you. Maddie, it's been brilliant. You've played such a great game, but with £1,800, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Lovely to meet you, Maddie. So, Susan, what a way to win. Congratulations. Thank you. In a few moments, I'm gonna ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. It's a little bit bigger than all the others, but this one is so much better. Because if you can get it out again, you're gonna go home with 10000 Thank you. Can Susan master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. But now for your chance to win an amazing cash prize, just like our viewer Jackie, she won big by entering our competition, and you could too. Is it for real? It is for real. Congratulations. Are you joking? I can't believe it. For forty thousand pounds, text win to six five four double three. Text costs two pounds plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 Calls cost two pounds plus your network access charge. Go to the website, entries cost two pounds. Or post your name and phone number to TP214, PO Box 7558, Derby D10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Susan is our winner today and has managed to get £1,850. What a comeback that was, Susan. It was, wasn't it? But right, look, let's ignore that round, though, because now it's all about that jackpot counter and getting £10,000 out of the machine. If we were to get it out, what do you think you'd like to do with it? I've always wanted to go on a cruise, so hopefully I should be able to go on a luxury cruise. You would. It would be a fantastic way of, uh, of celebrating your win here today, so fingers crossed fingers we get crossed. that jackpot counter out. Time to find out whether Susan's going to win our £10,000. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you'd like to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. <laughs> 
Yeah. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. OK? Yes, thank you. That easy. That easy. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to put the jackpot counter in. Where would you like it to go? Drop zone four, please. OK, fire up four, please. Now then, be ready for this one, Susan. Because it likes a quick shuffle ball change and doesn't hang around. See what I mean? Yep. Straight down, settles nicely. <laughs> nice and tight over the edge, though. Let's see if we can get you a little bit of money here. Might take a couple out or might just set them up. Mm. Okay, that's okay. Nice full top shelf, bottom shelf is full. There's a mystery prize there as well. We might there collect is, yes. as we go. Good stuff. Should we have a look at your categories? Yes, please. This is what we have for you. Music, sport, history, food and drink, human body and film. You can play them in any order you like. So where would you like to start and for how many? Let's just start at the top with music, please. Okay, music for? Three counters, please. Music for three, please. Assume Form is a 2019 album by which of these musicians? James Arthur, James Blake or James Blunt? I've never heard of them. But he's going to be called James. <laughs> We're halfway there. <laughs> We're halfway there. So Arthur, Blake or Blunt? Have you heard of any of those artists? I've heard of Blunt. He's the only one I've heard of, so James let's Blunt. go with James Blunt. OK, we're going to go with James Blunt, please. 2019 album, Assume Form, was it by James Blunt? It was James Blake. It was right. James Blake. You got the first name, right? I did. <laughs> OK, not to worry, let's go back to the categories. So we're going down the list, then, Susan. We'll try Sport for three, please. Sport for three. Which English professional football club plays its home matches at Pride Park? Nottingham Forest, Derby County or Leicester City? I'm not very good at football. Ooh. Do you know those teams? I've heard of all the teams. OK. Something's telling me it's not Leicester City. So between Nottingham Forest or Derby? Let's try Nottingham Forest. I'm not sure at all. Forest? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to light up Nottingham Forest, please. Have you found the right one? The Nottingham Forest play at Pride Park? Oh, no. <laughs> Derby play at Pride Derby. Park. I nearly went for Derby, one in the middle. Oh, frustrating, because you're very close to that one. Let's go back to the categories. History for three, please. Right, history for three. Who led the Scottish forces at the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314? William Wallace, Bonnie Prince Charlie or Robert the Bruce? I think Robert the Bruce was later. I'm not sure about William Wallace. Let's go down the middle, Bonnie Prince Charlie. Not sure about this one. Not sure about this one either. Bonnie Prince Charlie, should we go for it? Yeah. We're going with Bonnie Prince Charlie. We're looking for the leader of the Scottish forces at the Battle of Bannockburn. The question is, have we found the right answer? Was it Bonnie Prince Charlie? Oh, Robert the Bruce. Robert the Bruce. <laughs> Not doing very well, but never mind. Bonnie Prince Charlie was the Jacobite Rebellion in 1745, so way later. I should have listened more at school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. Right, we can still do this because what you have got is a jackpot counter in a really good position, yes. but we need to get some counters to throw at it, OK? Mm -hmm. So we've got food and drink, human body and film. Let's try food and drink. OK, for how many? Three, please. Food and drink for three. Typically served cold, the Sicilian dish consisting of aubergines, tomatoes and other vegetables is called what? Panzanella, caprese or caponata. Do you like your Sicilian-Italian food? Don't know whether I've knowingly had any Sicilian-Italian <laughs> food. And I've never had any of those. Panzanella. Caprese or caponata? Panzanella. It suggests it's cooked in a pan, perhaps. Let's try panzanella. Panzanella? Should we go for it? Yeah, why not? Light up panzanella, please. There's another one that we're having a stab in the dark at. <laughs> we are. I'm not sure. A Sicilian dish consisting of aubergines, tomatoes, and other vegetables. Is it panzanella? <laughs> oh, it's caponata. <laughs> Well, still two to go. Yes, there is. <laughs> I like your optimism. <laughs> Panzanella is sort of a bread and tomato salad. 
Right. Okay, not to worry. Let's go back to the categories. Human body for three, please. All right. Human body for three, please. Which of these professionals is most likely to use a Snellen chart? Optometrist, plastic surgeon, or a midwife? Well, I hope I know this one because I have to look at Snellen charts quite often, so I think it's the optometrist. So we go optometrist then? Please. We're going to light up optometrist. Let's find out. The Snellen chart, is it used by an optometrist? <laughs> I got one right. You nailed it. Right, three counters for you here, Susan. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Fire it up, please. I hope it goes to the right. Yeah, you don't want to mess up with any of these. No. Susan, some nice, good drops. Let's get on it and get it moving. Okay, first one in. There's a lot on that top shelf, isn't there? Oh, there you go. Some from three. Might get a bit of money from three as well, yeah. if that moves nicely. Yeah, there you go. Five counters. Not bad, Excellent. eh? Excellent. £250. Let's put it in. Takes us up to 2100 Two more to go, Susan. Drop some four again, please. Four up, please. Ah, not that way. No. Could do with it shooting down and rolling the other way. So we can get you some more money, though. Maybe move that mystery counter forwards. Another two counters drop in, so another £100. Takes us up to 2200 And one last counter. Drop zone four again, please, Ben. Four up. Come in, Susan, on the right. <laughs> nearly, oh. nearly, nearly. Just skipped away at the end. We have got it flat, though. Can we get anything over the top shelf? Yes, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this might be nice. There's a stash. And one more. Yeah, lovely. Excellent. And another four for you. So another £200. So the money's gone up very nicely. It has. Up to £2,400. Didn't quite get the jackpot counter, but we got some in the machine. Yep. So let's go back to the categories then. Susan, we've got one last category. Film is what we have left. Are you good with film, Susan? Not very good, no. Excellent. <laughs> uh, what do you reckon then? We'll have to go for three. You've been brave all the way. Stay yeah. with it. We'll have a film for three, please. Here we go. Which of these was the worldwide highest grossing biographical film of 2018? Vice, Bohemian Rhapsody or First Man? I would say Bohemian Rhapsody, only because I know a lot of people liked Queen and they were all keen to go and see it. Um, not really sure about the other two, I'll, so I'll say Bohemian Rhapsody, please, Ben. OK, should we light it up? Yes, please. OK, we're going to light up Bohemian Rhapsody, please. So we're looking for the highest grossing biographical film of 2018. Is it Bohemian Rhapsody? Yes, yes it is. Yes. Well done. Rami Malek got the best actor Oscar for Bohemian Rhapsody for playing Freddie Mercury. Uh, three counters for you here, Susan. Drop zone four, please. Fire up four, please. Right, come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's better. That's much better. Do you think going to come down in three? You say that, <laughs> Susan, you say that. Stranger things have happened. £50 drops in, takes us to 2450 in the machine. We've got the jackpot counter moving. This is a good start. Two more like that. Drop zone four again? Yes, please, Ben. Light it up, please. not far off. If that stays on it, Susan, you're getting it down. Oh, no. not, quite. not quite. Not quite. Not quite. You might have it down, then. Yeah. Two drop in. Let's give you another £100. That's going to take you up to £2,550. And you've got one more counter to go, Susan. What would you like to do with this one? Let's stay with drop zone four. Let's do it. Fire up four, please. That's going to get the jackpot down, is it? No. Can we get anything through here and over? And 
get another 100 pounds. So we can gather another 100 pounds that we can put into the machine. And that takes up 2,650 pounds. So look, Susan, unfortunately, we haven't got the jackpot counter moving anywhere near as much as we'd like at this stage, as I'm sure you know, yeah. I usually offer a trade. Three counters to put into the machine and what you've got so far in the hope of getting that jackpot counter out. Given how it's gone, and where the jackpot counter is, I think I know what you're going to say, but I need to ask you nonetheless, Susan, would you like to take the money or would you like to take the trade? I'll take the money, please, I ben. think that's very wise. Thank well you. done, Susan. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. £2,650, pounds, a lovely amount of money. It is. Do you think it'll be enough to get you on one of those cruises? Perhaps at the, uh, the bottom of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you enjoyed yourself? I've had a lovely time, yes, thank you, Ben. It's been lovely to meet you. Not only are you leaving £2,650, pounds, but you've also, and I know you're excited about this, you've won an indoor skydiving experience. Yes. It's been lovely to meet you, Susan. Thank you. So there you go, Susan, leaving with £2,650. We just couldn't get going with the questions in that final round, could we? And the jackpot counter is still on the top shelf. Join us next time when the fate of formal players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.